What prompted you to start looking at cancer? You know, you were working on evolutionary biology, but how did you get into that realm? So about a year and a half ago, I was in Australia. I had just finished a seminar and I was taking a day off and I was in a park and my phone buzzed and my friend Bill texted me and a group of other friends and said, hey guys, my wife has pancreatic cancer. Well, I've Witten, I've had a front row seat to that because my very, very, very close friend, Tom Hubiar had that and died of it uh, in 2011. And so I was like, ooh, here we go. It's one of the worst kinds you can get. Yeah. And well, she was gone five months later. Same thing is that the very same day that I got that text from Bill, I got an email from James Shapiro at the University of Chicago, who I've been friends with him for a very long time. And uh, he's been my mentor in the evolution space. And he was mentored by Barbara McClintock, the famous Nobel Prize winner, who's really, her discoveries really changed the whole nature of evolutionary theory. And, and he said, I've got these two other guys and we're putting together a cancer and evolution symposium in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Would you like to help? And I said, absolutely, I would like to help. And so off 